Good morning, Colorado. Welcome to a Thursday edition of Local Biz Buzz. I'm your host, Larry Hers, and today in studio I have Rachel from Rachel's Pesto. Yay! And which is basically like I feel like I have my daughter in studio here today. So I'm a, in case you guys didn't know, I'm a New York Jewish guy, and Rachel is a New York Jewish woman. <laughs> and it's like when when we get together and Jewish people, especially from New York, yeah, it's like we haven't seen each other in years, yet we've never seen each other before we just met. But like we're old friends. I agree. I love or, it. Or I'm really like my daughter more like. <laughs> Good yeah. friends, daughter, family, it's nice, I love it. Give us a little history of you and Rachel's Pesto. Yeah, so from New York, obviously, um, moved here about three years ago or two and a half years ago um, and love it here. And I've always been obsessed with cooking, obsessed with garlic. Um, my dad always said I'd have a bagel store when I grew up. Um, and a few, I've always just been obsessed with cooking. And then um, a few years ago, I took a culinary entrepreneurship class at the French Culinary Institute, which is now ICC. Um, and basically you could choose either like a product or a business. So I chose business, made a business plan of a bed and breakfast in the Catskills. Um, <laughs> they don't know what the Catskills is. <laughs> upstate New York, it's the New Hamptons. <laughs> um, and basically throughout the course of the class, subconsciously I was creating the product on the side too. So like Google Doc going, it said Rachel's pesto and sauce. I wanted to do something that was, you know, Instagram, aesthetically pleasing. Um, and so this was kind of like behind the scenes. Did you grow up eating pesto? Was it like your dad would make it? Or? No, nobody no. really made pesto. I think like I've always liked it, but it was never anything okay. like in my face. Um, but garlic has been the one thing like throughout my life. People are like, Rachel, stop talking about garlic. And like before pesto, <laughs> how would you eat garlic? Um, cooking it. I mean, I would never eat like raw garlic. Okay. But have you had pickled garlic? I'm actually making that tonight with my friend, which is weird timing. So. We had pickled garlic on the show last week, and I was scared that it would be that raw garlic, and it wasn't. It was sweet. It was amazing. Nice. Actually, I think that's why we're making it, by the way. Oh. Uh, mountain, mountain, mountain Girl Pickles. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So then um, last year, so Rachel's Pesto and Sauce, the website or the Google Doc was just kind of there, sitting there. Um, and then last year at my company, they do like a, every two weeks, you know, talk about something that you're passionate about after work. People talked about like advertising and gambling, and I was like, this is pretty boring. Um, so I thought, let me actually do like a pesto demo, bring it to work, have my coworkers and friends try it. Um, and so what I did was like, I used a few recipes online. I hadn't really made pesto okay. seriously before. And then I made my own just based on taste, and I made my friends blind taste test their favorite, and mine won, um, which kind Good of like thing. kickstarted everything. <laughs> um, and it just gave me the confidence to say, like, wow, this is actually really delicious. So you still have your day job? I do still have my day job. Which is what, by the way? Um, I am in software sales at a company Did called Five Tran. Yeah. Okay. So thank you, Greg, for letting me uh, not work right now. <laughs> are, you, are you hoping to make a career out of this? Um, not, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I can't, I can't say too much, but what I want to do, my ultimate goal is to be in farmer's markets in the summer and do it on the weekends. Okay. Um, and then ultimate is like Whole Foods, um, Whole Foods shelving. So. Okay. so I assume you started with a basic basil pesto. I did. And now what do you have? Um, well, let me show you. Um, okay. I have a, this is a sun-dried tomato pesto. Okay. This is spicy chipotle. Let's open it up and see yeah. what see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> spicy chipotle. Um, roasted red pepper, which is what we're going to make together. And that's my favorite, and I really hate roasted red peppers, but like just the combination is yummy. And then obviously basil. This one too, right? Yeah. And then you're gonna be making for me a poblano pesto some yes. day, someday. Yes, we have I told her that's one of my favorite things, and you don't see it too, around too often. Yeah, so that'll be that'll be the next one. I can promise you. All right, let's teach people how to make pesto. Okay, amazing. So will you or be my, will you be my sous chef? Sure. Okay. <laughs> so what I what I think is funny is a lot of people are like, how do you make it? Like, will you tell me the secret recipe? Yeah, it's and not, it's, not, it's secret. not secret. For me, it's like just the the ratios. Yeah. So um, let's let's start. Okay. Oh, actually, we need a. Oh, it's plugged in already. Thank you. Yeah, I took care of you. Thank you. Okay, so I roasted these peppers fresh last night. You roasted your own peppers. I did. Look at you, um, you little girl. Thank you. So I just did olive oil and salt. Baked it at like 400 for 20-ish minutes. But then you still got to peel them. I did. I peel. Yes, I did peel them. Yeah. That's um, a pain in the ass. Which kind Oops, of burned my don't fingers. Say yes. Oops. <laughs> um, let me put this over here. Um, would you like to put the Parmesan in? Wow, she trusts me to put the Parmesan in. The whole thing? All of it. Awesome. 
You can never have too much cheese. Yeah, the secret is like cheese and garlic and salt. Okay, now we'll put all of the garlic in. I'm not gonna tell anyone how many garlic cloves, okay. um, but never enough garlic. And then just, you know, your, your standard olive oil. Any, does, doesn't matter. I mean, extra any, virgin. Any extra virgin will do. Yeah. I've gone to like olive oil shops to see what I love, but I don't want it to be too strong because then it just doesn't taste as great. Okay. This might take a while. <laughs> what do they well, call this? Like the fun stopper? <laughs> Okay, well, let's just give it a shot. With roasted red pepper, because it's already pretty liquidy, you don't need that much olive oil. Okay. Um, I use walnuts. And then, so traditionally, pesto would have pine nuts, but most restaurants, including mine, we switched when pine nuts got to be more expensive than lobster. That's crazy. And, yeah, $20 a pound, and it's like, oh yeah, that's what pine nuts are. And I can't explain to you why they got so expensive. I'm sure supply and demand. Yeah. So most restaurants switched to walnuts. Well, I'm glad we're doing it. Um, and like, I also want to try doing like a pistachio pesto, which I know is popular. Yeah. So really just start. by the way okay. um i think like I've, I've talked with like the denver bone broth people they're the nicest people in the yes. world we want to do a collaboration of like bone broth and putting in some pesto so for that we discussed like making the pesto super thin because no one wants like you know nuts in broth um but for me i really enjoy when it's kind of thicker because i use it as a dip in pasta like paninis um what do we need a spoon? The, the green yes thank you so now we can taste it okay so i need a spoon Yes, or you can dip a cracker in. It's oh, a little thicker, um, but actually, can we give it like another like 10 seconds? Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, where can people get your pesto? You can. <laughs> no, I can't hear you. <laughs> uh, you can DM her at Rachel's Pesto on Instagram. <laughs> yes, DM me on Instagram at Rachel's Pesto if you can see the sign. Um, Soon my website is coming, which is almost done, which is super, super exciting. Um, and hopefully my goal is to be in farmer's markets this summer in the Denver area. So main source of truth is Instagram. Follow along. Um, I post fun recipes. What do you charge per jar? So small is $8. Mm -hmm. A large, which is 8 ounces, so double is $12. Okay. Um, so the $12 makes a lot more sense. Indeed it does. And you deliver? Um, I do deliver. So Denver currently only. Um, all of my friends and family are asking me to ship to New York. Shipping is expensive, so we're going to get there soon. Um, Can I dump Yeah, it? please do. Um, so local only and delivery, I can do it. What's your minimum order? Um, you will get a discount if it's $20 or more. It's a good point that I should probably have a minimum order before delivering one $8 pesto. So, sorry everyone, minimum is now $20. It just happened? <laughs> right this second? Breaking news! <laughs> <laughs> we just did that. So yeah, let me know what you think. Are you gonna try anything? Of course. Um, do we have to forget anything? Um, I f no. No. Right. Wanna say hi to your dad? Hi dad, hi mom. <laughs> Cheers, pleasure Cheers. to meet you, thanks for coming yeah. in. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Have you not seen the show? Oh my god. What do we say before we eat? Let's eat. All right, we'll edit that out. <laughs> um, lunch is gonna be delayed today because the guy's getting his second COVID shot. So lunch will be at 2.30 today. Uh, Nola Jane's, we're having some Cajun food. Do you wanna dunk that in again so we can do this again or something? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That was terrible. She was really excited to try her pesto, apparently. All right. I've never had it. Cheers. Cheers. Let's, Let's eat. eat. We did good. Do you like it? Don't you? I love it. it needs more garlic. It does need more garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Never enough garlic. Uh, maybe I put too much oil in. 